Hey guys and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by today. The video I'm going to do for you today is a full eye look using only cheap makeup brushes. This company reached out to me to give their makeup brushes a try. This entire set is only $8, so I figured maybe some of you would be interested in seeing how a very, very, very inexpensive brush set works. So I created this eye look right here, and I'm gonna zoom you in and do a voiceover while I apply the eyeshadow and review the brushes and let you know how I like them. I will tell you right off the bat, these are definitely not nearly as bad as I thought they were gonna be. They actually worked pretty decently, all things considered, but let's jump right into the review. Okay guys, so for this look, I'm going to be using primarily the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and one shade from the Juvia's Place Doucet palette. And the reason I chose the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette was because these shadows work perfect for me every single time. So if I know if I couldn't get a look that I liked, I knew it was going to be from the brushes and not from the eyeshadow. So I, I had to choose just like one of my true blues. Okay, so I'm starting with the fluffiest brush in the collection, and I have to say the softness of this brush was good. It blended my eyeshadow well. I really had no problems with this brush at all. It's probably one of my favorites in the collection. I do like a good, just like basic fluffy brush, and this one did the job. Next, I'm taking this stiffer kind of domed brush, and I'm using this to deepen up the crease a bit. Again, I had no issues with this brush at all. It definitely felt very synthetic, all of the brushes do, and it did stain a bit with that dark shadow even after I cleaned it, but for my purposes, it worked quite well. Next, I'm taking this straight, flat, like short, teeny tiny detailer brush, I guess you would call it. And again, this brush worked really well for my purposes. I'm using MAC Paint Pot to define the crease and ah, it, it achieved what I needed to it to achieve. It really was fine. Next, I'm taking this kind of slim tapered brush. It's very, very stiff, which actually makes it perfect for defining the crease. Now I'm taking this really like long fluffy brush. This one was my least favorite brush, the one that you just saw. It just really didn't do a whole lot at all. Going back in with the fluffy brush, I'm just buffing a dark brown shade into the side there. Again, I think it did a nice job buffing in the shadows and blending the shadows out. This is a flat shader brush. Again, it picked up and deposited a decent amount of product. Again, it felt very synthetic, very, you know, inexpensive and kind of like plasticky almost. But again, it, it did what I needed it to do. So I can't really hate on it because it, it worked quite well actually depositing the color that I needed it to. Again, back in with this long ass brush. Again, just kind of doesn't do anything. In fact, it just made it a little bit worse <laughs> to be honest um I, so i could do without this brush this is really the only brush in the collection that i didn't like going again back in with that long tapered sort of like pencil brush and just buffing a shade along my lower lash line again this brush picked up enough color it deposited enough color but again all these white synthetic brushes do stain a bit when you try and clean them so using a little bit of a fluffier tapered dome brush i'm just buffing a little bit of color in the outside again did what i needed it to do this is like a little eyeliner brush that I used to apply some color to the inner corner. I was actually pretty pleased with how much color it deposited. I really had low expectations because it it did feel super, super stiff. Um, but then it like deposited some nice color. So I, was, I think it would work well for eyeliner as well, actually, because of how stiff it is. Now, this angled brush, I was trying to use it to apply a glitter shadow. It was not the best use of this brush. I think this brush is probably best used for your eyebrows or winged liner. So I ditched that and I just used my finger to apply that gorgeous shade I showed you from the Juvia's Place palette. It's like a minty dark teal green. So yeah, that, that brush, and then I used it to kind of like define the edges. So it just wasn't suited for this shadow. But again, kind of similar to the other ones, it has that very synthetic feel, but like it did the job. So overall guys, like <laughs> I was pretty pleased with this, you know, $1 a piece um, brush set. I don't have any real complaints. One or two of the brushes didn't do the trick, but if you are in the market for a very inexpensive brush set that's not going to run you a couple hundred dollars, give this a try. See how you like it. Okay guys, so that completes the review. Thank you so much for stopping by. Definitely give me suggestions of other types of videos you would like me to do in the future. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in my next one.